What is revival? You know, growing up, we prayed for revival. Prayer meetings at night with my parents and the church. But I don't think I even knew what revival was. You know what I begin to realize is that I think Higher Vision is in revival. I think Higher Vision has been in revival for 11 and a half years. My parents talked to me about my grandfather in Mulberry, Arkansas, where for three years straight, every week, someone would find Christ. The church grew to several hundred. It was a revival. And I look back at the last 11 and a half years and I realize every single week for 11 and a half years, now over 35,000 people have found Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That's revival. Think of the miracles, the supernatural miracles that have happened. People that had stage four cancer and no hope. Because of prayer, they went back to the doctor and they said, I don't know what's happened, but you don't have cancer anymore. You see, revival is places like this that are dark and dead. And yet God brings a well and he begins to water and bring new life in the midst of pain, in the midst of brokenness, in the midst of drought. I believe the Santa Clarita Valley. I believe that our world is poised to revival. In fact, I believe that we're in the middle of revival. The question is, do we see it? That's really what God said to Ezekiel when he stood on the side of a mountain looking to a valley just like this that was dead and there were bones everywhere. And he basically said, Ezekiel, can you see revival? Can you see what's right in front of you? You think they're dead bones, but my spirit can bring life. Suddenly he began to see with expectancy because he saw with expectancy, he began to declare God's promises. Suddenly bones started coming together, flesh and skin appeared and an army arose. I think God's waiting for us to open our eyes and see that there's a well right in front of us. Like Ishmael and Hagar in the middle of a desert with no water about to die. They thought it was over. But God said, I haven't forgotten you. In the middle of your dark and broken and dry place, I'm giving you water and giving you a well and bringing a revival to you. And there's a future nation that's going to come out of you. There's a hope. Your best days aren't behind you. Your best days are before you. I believe God is like Ezekiel. He's saying, open your eyes and see you're in revival. God, give us revival. God, we speak to the dead places. We speak to the broken places. We speak to the death. And we say, continue to give life. God, give us revival. God, give us revival.